This innocent looking bird called a cowbird is actually a parasite. A female cowbird will lay her eggs in another bird's nest and expect the unsuspecting mom to raise her young. If the unsuspecting bird kicks the cowbird's eggs out, the cowbird may come back later and destroy her nest. This is just one example of parasitism. Parasitism is a symbiotic relationship in which one organism benefits and the other organism is harmed and in some cases may die. Let's take a look at some examples. Mosquitoes. These annoying pests will show up at most picnics and have a meal at your expense. Mosquitoes are carriers of some of humanity's most deadly illnesses. So the mosquito gets a meal and you may get sick. In a similar fashion, ticks will do the same to you, dogs, or even livestock. They latch onto their hosts and start eating. Ticks can infect their hosts with many diseases, including Lyme disease. Many worms are parasitic. This leech is a segmented worm that attaches to a host like you and gets a meal from your blood. They secrete a chemical that actually prevents the blood from clotting. If present in great numbers, besides being debilitating, in extreme cases may cause death. Some bacteria are parasitic, E. coli. There are hundreds of different types or strains of bacteria, E. coli. Most of these are harmless and live in the intestines of healthy people and animals, but some strains of E. coli make a strong toxin that may cause severe infection or death. Some plants are parasitic. Mistletoe is a plant you may see high in trees, but it is actually a parasite. Mistletoe will attach to their host tree or shrub and extract water and nutrients from this host plant. Another parasitic plant is albino redwood. An albino redwood is a redwood tree which is unable to produce chlorophyll, so it has white needles instead of the normal green. It survives by obtaining sugar through the connections of its roots of those of its neighboring normal redwoods. Not very nice. And finally, parasitoid wasp. They lay their eggs on or inside the bodies of such hosts as arthropods or caterpillars. These eggs will grow into an offspring that will eventually eat its way out, causing the death of its host. If you'd like to know more about parasitic relationships, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.